Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, family. Peace. This is Brother Tremont coming back with episode number five, four, five. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, family. Peace. This is Brother Tremont coming back at you again with episode number four of our male-female relationship video blog. Um, excuse my attire. Don't mean to disrespect you, but I'm on the move. You know, it's hard to hit a moving target. Today, what we're going to be talking about real briefly is a book that I read by the name of The Five Love Languages. The Five Love Languages. Okay, that's enough for that because I don't believe in free advertisement. Whenever Dr. Chapman wanted to pay me, then we can get it moving like that. The only reason I showed you the book is so that you may want to get it because it was very valuable um, in what it is that I do and it was very valuable in my relationship. The five love, love languages just boils down to this. Dr. Chapman realized that um, when he was dealing with couples, he was writing down why the couples feel as though they were not, um, each individual felt as though the other one did not love them. What he found was, what makes you feel love may not feel make your partner feel love. So he, he looked at all of the answers and he boiled them down to five love languages. So what we're going to do today is go over those five love languages because um, you want to ask yourself the question, what love language is your partner? Okay, here we go. Number one, words of affirmation. Words of affirmation is encouraging words that you give to your partner something that you notice about them that you really like. Um, everybody does not have the love language of words of affirmation. Sometimes you may tell somebody something that you like about them. It may not affect them like it affects you because maybe words of affirmation is your love language. But if your partner's love language is words of affirmation, you have to find something that you like about your partner that you can tell them, that you can verbalize to them because that's what they need in order for them to feel love. Sometimes a person may not give you much to love about them, but you gotta find something. Like, babe, you really got some nice eyebrows. You really uh, cook my food well. You really this or you really that, but something that you have to verbalize to them to make them feel love. Number two, quality time. Quality time is uh, time that you spend, spend with each other where your attention is only focused on your partner. Not the TV, not a book, not the problems of the day, but quality time is when your attention is only focused on your partner. Okay. Number three, acts of service. Acts of service is some service that you perform for your partner. This is what makes them feel love. So it may be washing the dishes at night. It may be cooking a dinner. It may be changing the baby's diaper. Whatever you can do as an act of service to your partner. Number four. Ooh, like, bro, man, from the fifth floor. <laughs> Number four, receiving gifts. <laughs> Number four, receiving gifts. Does not matter how big or small the gift is. If your partner's uh, love language is to receive gifts, then you want to find yourself giving gifts constantly. It could be a flower out of the yard, it could be a, a ring, it could be a bracelet, it could be a card. But you know, the number one gift is called a gift of presence. That means when you give the gift of yourself and you're just present there with your spouse. If your spouse feels as though um, you love football or baseball more than her, or if your spouse feels as though you love um, watching TV or cooking or whatever it is that you do more than you love him, then that's a problem. And you want to give the best gift that you can give, and that's the gift of your own presence to your spouse. And now for the last one, number five, physical touch. Some people, like to be touched. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right, now for our grand finale, number five, physical touch. If your partner's love language is physical touch, you want to always find yourself physically touching them. <laughs> All right, now for the grand finale, coming in at number five, physical touch. Physical touch does not necessarily mean sex, but your partner's love language may be physical touch. And if they don't feel as though you caress their shoulder enough or give them a hug or whatever, whatever kind of physical touch it is that they like, then they may feel as though you don't love them. All right, so that was our quick tip for the day on the five love languages. And you may want to find out what love language is your partner. So Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, we'll see you again on Monday with our episode number five, right? episode number five so we want you to tune in don't forget to make comments on youtube make comments on facebook and uh, make comments on twitter and give us suggestions give us questions and um, feedback thank you for watching see you again on monday peace